everyone, my name is Katie O'Shea and today I have a huge book haul for you guys. I have 16 books I've gotten since I last did a book haul video, so I'm really excited to share those with you guys. Additionally, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of any of the books in this video. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to my channel and then leave a comment below with which of the books I show in this video that you would like to win if you are the giveaway winner. And the giveaway is going to be open internationally. So be sure to enter and be sure you're subscribed. Additionally, I have a huge exciting announcement that I'm gonna be posting on my channel tomorrow. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. So be sure you're subscribed and keep a lookout for that. So, the first books are going to be Christmassy kind of books um, because tis the season. So the first book is What Light by Jay Asher and this is from the author of 13 Reasons Why. I'm currently listening to the audiobook and I love it. It's like a Christmassy story. It's really great. Um, basically it follows the story of Sierra who his family uh, owns a Christmas tree farm, and so they live in Oregon, but then they have their Christmas tree lot where they sell the Christmas trees in California. So during the month of December, right after Thanksgiving too, uh, her family goes down to California to sell the trees, and it's just a really sweet story. It's a contemporary, and I think you guys will really enjoy this one, um, romance and etc. So check this out. The next one, you guys know I would obviously buy and love, The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn. Um, I am so excited. This is the second book um, after the Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which I absolutely love. Um, I am so excited that they did a second book, and I just got to see David and meet Rachel for the first time at Little Shop of Stories, which was incredible. Um, it's always so good to see. David Levithan, my favorite author, and get to hear about him and his new books. So check this one out, especially if you love Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. If you haven't read it yet, you have to read it. It's like the best Christmas book ever, and it really gets you in like the Christmassy mood. So I'm so excited to read this one. The next two books are actually by my friend Lauren Morrill, and she's the awesome author of Meant to Be, if you've read that, and also these two books I think have come out since I last did a haul video, um, The Trouble with Destiny and then My Unscripted Life. This is her very newest one. Um, and I can't remember if I showed you guys this one or before or not, but this one um, is a contemporary and it takes place on a cruise ship during the summer. Um, and I think this is a really cute one. I haven't read it yet, but the other one is My Unscripted Life and I just love all of Lauren's books. but. Um, this one takes place on the set of a movie, I think, either a movie or a TV show. I know it's, um, yeah, a movie filming in her small southern town. And cool fact is that Lauren was an extra on, like, Vampire Diaries. A lot of shows, um, film in Georgia now, so she kind of got some inspiration and real life experience being on set, um, as an extra. So, I think this will be a cool book. The next two books are really cute contemporaries as well. So this first one is Wanderlust by Jen Malone and I read this in Hawaii um, a few months ago now and yes I got to go to Hawaii, it was incredible. Um, I need to update you guys on that as well but um, this, I love this book so much. Uh, basically um, there's kind of some hijinks that ensue and um, this girl Aubrey finds herself um, in Europe for the summer having to lead a group of um, elderly tour guide um, people or a group of people she's their tour guide and they're going on a trip through Europe basically and it's so cute and there's a really great romance um, I don't want to spoil anything but you should definitely check it out especially if you love to travel uh, this is the perfect book I think the next book I got in Boston when I was there for a writing retreat and it's called Two Summers. Um, it's by Amy Friedman and I absolutely loved this one as well. So it's really cool. It's a contemporary but it takes place half in um, the United States in New York and half in the French countryside um, in Provence. And basically how she pulls that off is the, the book kind of splits into two. Um, where she's at the airport and she doesn't take a phone call and so she ends up in France and then 
she takes the phone call in another alternate version and then it's telling her not to get on the plane so she ends up spending the summer back home in New York. So it's really cool and it was really interesting. Of course I love France and so I absolutely love that and it was really interesting to see like what would have happened if she went to France and what would have happened if she actually stayed home. Um, so it was, it was a really interesting story and I really liked how it was kind of split into two in like a dual narrative. The next book is Gemina of the Illuminae Files, and I'm excited to read this because I read the first one, which was Illuminae, um, and uh, that was really good. I listened to the audiobook of it and got the hard copy because there's a lot of various like things in the book, um, elements and like files, um, so it was cool to kind of listen along because the audiobook version is done by like a cast so it was really cool to hear various different people and the narration was really great um but also to follow along in the book so this is the second one and i've heard it's really good as well um so this is a sci-fi um set in space so i think you guys would really like this you've probably heard a lot of hype about it the next book i got was harry potter and the cursed child um have you guys read this yet i started to read it I'm only 70 pages in, and I've been 70 pages in since I got it, which is not the greatest sign since usually the regular Harry Potter books um, I would read in like a day. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, it's I like it okay, I guess, but it's really different reading it in the script format versus like the regular books. And also, Harry Potter's kids are like like the one kid is obviously kind of mean to him which is depressing um and yeah it's just like Harry Potter as an adult I mean ugh. so obviously I'm gonna finish it I just haven't yet but I mean I guess people like it do you like it let me know the next book I got is Hello Goodbye and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith and this I don't even know what it's about I just auto buy all of Jennifer E. Smith's books because I absolutely love her um, it's, if you like contemporary you have to read her books um, but this one basically is like on the night before they leave for college Claire and Aiden have only one thing left to do figure out whether they should stay together or break up so over the course of 12 hours they retreat, retrace the steps of their relationship um, trying to find something in their past that might help them decide their future. So, hello, goodbye, and everything in between. Um, so, I think that this will be a great book if you enjoy contemporary. Next is You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour. This one I am halfway through reading now. Um, I really enjoy it. It takes place in San Francisco um, around the time of Pride, Pride Week. And it follows two characters, Mark and Kate, who have sat together for an entire year. Their paths have not crossed, and then they meet one night um, when they're out. And basically, it's a lot about their two characters. And, like, um, Mark is in love with his best friend, and Kate is in love with um, this girl who she hasn't met yet. Uh, so I haven't found out yet how this ends and how things go. Right now, Mark is not in the best place. <laughs> no spoilers, but um, of course, another David Levithan book. Had to get it. Um, like it so far. How many books has he read this year? Are you guys keeping track? I mean, how many books has he written this year? Are you guys keeping track? Because it's the number is up there. <laughs> The next book is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, um, author of Since You've Been Gone, and uh, I read this one during the summer, I think, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like all of Morgan Matson's books, and it's now occurring to me that I have gotten a, several other books on Audible that I am not mentioning in this video. I'll have to do like an Audible haul for you guys, because I also um, read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by her this summer, which was really good. Um, this one is a contemporary, and it follows um, Andy, who who's a politician's daughter, um, and then she finds herself kind of stuck at home with her dad after her dad has, like, a political scandal, um, and she meets this guy who's a writer, so that was cute. Um, if you like a summary kind of contemporary story, I think you'll like this. Um, classic Morgan Matson does not disappoint. 
This next book is With Malice by Alien Cook, and I absolutely love this cover. Um, as you can see, it's like uh, the buildings of Cinque Terre in Italy. Um, and so two friends in exotic foreign location, the potential for jealousy and revenge, and an accident that looks like it might have been murder. Yes. It didn't matter what the truth was, what mattered was it was that it was fun to talk about. So that's kind of the back blurb. Uh, I have not read this one yet, but I am really looking forward to it. It's kind of a cover by, but also the intrigue, murder, Italy aspects drew me in. So let me know if you guys have read this and what you think. This next book is The Year We Fell Apart by Emily Martin, who is one of the Pitch Wars mentors this year. And I got this book when I was on my writing retreat in Boston at Porter Square Books in Cambridge. Um, and it's also a young adult contemporary and it sounds really great. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but um, this is the blurb from J. Robin Brown of No Place to Fall. Um, the Year We Pel Fell Apart is a poignant and art aching tale of childhood love, loss, and the chances we get to try again. I was holding my breath, page after page, hoping upon hope that Harper and Declan would find their way back into each other's hearts. So that is The Year We Fell Apart, and I can't wait to read this one. The next book is Openly Straight by Bill Konigsberg, and he was at Little Shop of Stories in Atlanta the other day with David Levithan and a bunch of other authors, so I got to meet him and I got this book. Um, basically, um, it says, writer, soccer player, Colorado resident, and oh yeah, gay. Um, Raph has been out since 8th grade and he's fine with it, and so is everyone else, but sometimes he just wants to be a regular guy not the gay guy, so when he transfers to an all-boys boarding school in New England, he decides to become openly straight instead. The transformation works, Raph reveals, revels in a new group of straight guy friends and the freedom of living without a label, but then he falls in love with one of his new friends who doesn't even know that love is a possibility. So it's a funny, smart novel about being out, being real, and all the things be yourself can mean. So this sounds really good. and. Um, I think they said that if you're a fan of David Levithan, you should read his books. So here I am, going to do that. The next book is for all my writer kind of friends and people. Um, so this is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gil Gilbert, who is the author of Eat, Pray, Love. And this is Creative Living Beyond Fear. And it was a really inspiring book about kind of if you are doing anything that is a creative endeavor, whether it be writing or anything else, kind of how to get past fear and kind of um, push past that and, you know, recognize that fear, I guess, and being rejected and putting yourself out there in your work will always kind of be in the back seat of the car, but not to let fear drive your decisions or um, influence your life and try to just be able to move past things. And there's a lot of other really great writing advice in here. So if you do anything creative, I highly recommend it. I also listened to the audiobook um, narrated by the author. That was great as well. The final book is Wither in the Chemical Garden Trilogy by Lauren De Stefano. Uh, this book my friend Kobe gave to me. Um, he had it, I believe, signed by the author when he met her a while ago. Yes. Um, and I think he had an extra copy, so he was like, hey, you like young adult books, would you like this? And I said, yes I would. So this is, in the not too distant future, genetic engineering has turned every newborn into a ticking time bomb. Males die at age 25 and females die at age 20, which that five year gap seems a little unfair. <laughs> While scientists seek a miracle antidote, young girls are routinely kidnapped and sold as um, brides to bear more children. When 16-year-old Ryan is taken, she enters a world of wealth and privilege that both entices and terrifies her. She has everything she ever wanted except freedom. So that sounds intense. So if you guys have read this, this has been out for a while, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, but those are all the books that I have gotten recently, except I got a ton more on Black Friday, but my book uh, outlet books have just not arrived yet, so I will be doing another huge book haul very soon because I did get a lot of books on Black Friday. So look out for another book haul really soon from me as soon as those arrive any day now. Um, be sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss that. And definitely give this video a thumbs up, 
subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know which of these books that you would like to win um, to enter the giveaway. Um, thank you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, and don't forget about the exciting announcement video tomorrow. Be sure to check it out on my channel.